What up, players? It's Warboss Tap in this mug. Today I'm showing you some bases from War Gamma. Amazing figures, bases, and terrain. You can go and check out their stuff on wargamma.com. I am just looking at this card right here, this business card advertisement, and I, I think some of the stuff looks so cool, like these Tyranid, um, this Tyranid, like my Static Spore looking thing. They've got this Necron looking uh, scarab or spider maybe and they've got a bunch of like little scarabs over here in the back flying ones that's really cool that's really innovative innovative and creative i, I really like that i've also got these uh cyber cyber wolf sculpts so um beautiful stuff and today we're going to be looking at some bases so first i'm going to be pulling out some of the i think they're are they 40 millimeters i'm not sure um, really cool looking. So, these are, there's, I think they look like patched up flesh, stitched together. So this would probably go on a, um, you could put them on Age of Sigmar now that Age of Sigmar uses, uses, um, round bases. These would actually fit Age of Sigmar perfectly more than 40k, I think, because 40k, while you have some, some guys in the chaos like in the warp and in the uh, on some crazy chaos worlds, Age of Sigmar is all about weird, fant high fantasy, crazy, chaos uh, infused things. So these would fit really, really well. I, I would paint them up as draw, uh, patched flesh, um, stitched together, like I said, just kind of cobbled together, different shades and tones. In fact, um, why don't I paint one up? right now and then I'll show you uh, what I do with it. Alright, I'm back and I'm showing you the uh, finished painted examples of these two bases. Had a lot of great fun painting them up, making them look like uh, fields of flayed flesh stitched together. Definitely something that uh, Chaos players or, or Age of Sigmar players wanting something really weird and cool will like. Uh, the bases are still, the rims are still a little bit wet, but yeah, what I did was I just, seriously, this took me like about 10 minutes for the painting time, not counting the drying time, uh, which I should have waited a little bit longer for the black rims, but just throw on a, a Bugman's Flesh base coat, a uh, wash of Raikland Flesh Shade, highlight up, adding some ra Rakarth Flesh to that, that Bugman's Glow, and then um, add in Blood Effects, which is basically, to me, a clear red, with um, some Abaddon Black in it, and do some uh, shading around, and do the stitches with Rackarth Flesh, and there you go. And in this one, I added in an eyeball. So, ooh, gruesome, gross. I love how the Abaddon Black in the clear red makes it look like uh, clotting, congealing blood. I think that's just so perfect and gross and wonderful. And yeah, I'm very happy with it. I think um, decorative bases are really good to have in your in your collection, at least for for some models, character models maybe, or display pieces, centerpieces. And War Gamma is a great company to do that. So, like I said, you got five five bases in this kit, and um, I'm not sure what other kits you have on the War Gamma website. I haven't been there yet to look myself, but if you are looking for uh, decorative bases, this is one company you should definitely give a look at. Thanks for watching everybody, and we'll see you in the next video.